Joe Lancestro, and I'm just back from Germany, uh, wonderful Poppenberg, where we are building our magnificent cruise ships. Uh, we're well along on the Disney dream. Simultaneously, while all that great work is happening in Germany, we have teams working elsewhere in the world. Here in Glendale, we have our differentiators team that are creating uh, some of the most amazing interactive experiences that are going to take the experience on the ship to a whole new level. We had about a dozen press people from around the country visit us at Imagineering. We gave them a sneak peek at a lot of the mock-ups we have going around here on the, Glen on the Glendale campuses, so we'd like to give you a sneak peek at what we showed them. The Magic Play Floor is essentially a high-tech playground where kids will run around um, and be very active and play games. The border of the floor detects motion and location, so kids will control the action with their feet, and there are some games that will even allow them to run around and jump throughout the floor. We're developing a show called Undersea Magic. When guests walk into the animator's palette, they'll be in an animation studio. A couple of minutes after their seating, the entire restaurant is gonna transform, and they're gonna be inside the underwater world of Finding Nemo. They're gonna be greeted by a wealth of Finding Nemo characters, and of course, by Crush, the interactive living character from uh, Turtle Talk with Crush, for the entire dinner. It's going to be an unforgettable experience for our guests. We have 150 staterooms, inside staterooms, on the Disney Dream and Disney Fantasy, and those are the rooms that typically maybe don't get booked first, and so we wanted to add something special for our guests in those rooms, and so we came up with the concept of a virtual porthole. So we put cameras around the ship, and so we feed a live camera feed to this virtual porthole in your room, but we wanted to do something a little more special because we're Disney, we want to add a little magic to it. So we're going to have Disney characters sort of fly by as our, you know, and our guests are going to be able to sort of see uh, the up house floating by or maybe Mickey and Minnie flying by in an airplane. We're finding from Disney Cruise Line that people who are now booked in those inside staterooms are turning down upgrades because they want to see what this is all about. Now the Enchanted Art is a shipwide art program where when you approach a piece of art that looks just like a still on the wall, it animates to life. It can sense you're there and animate for you. And every time you come back, you can see a different animation. One of them is located in the atrium where you'll see a painting of Peter Pan's Neverland Cove and some propping of a ship's wheel. When you go up to the ship's wheel, you'll start to turn the wheel and the painting comes to life. And now you're driving Captain Hook's ship and exploring Neverland Cove. The detective adventure game takes advantage of the enchanted art. And it's something that we're excited about because we've never done it before. It's a game that you interact with by holding up a simple card. It's just a piece of paper, but actually on it is a 2D barcode that we can sense optically. So when you go up to a piece of enchanted art and hold up your card, something happens. And you'll find clues, and you'll find missing objects, and you can figure out who your villain is and save the day. You found one! This puppy means we're on the villain's trail. Now, on to the next piece of art. Thank you for joining us on the tour today. We look forward to seeing you on the ship when we launch in early 2011.